Hello YouTube, Mr. Android HQ here, and today I'm going to tell you how to install CyanogenMod 9 or the Android Open Kang project, or AOKP, on your Droid 3, Droid 4, Droid Bionic, or Droid Razor, I believe, I don't know, um, there's a lot. <laughs> anyway, first thing you're going to do is go to blog.hash-of-codes.com, click on the download section here, and you're going to scroll down and find your device. And um, when you find it, you can open it and choose the download. But you're also going to want to download SafeStrap, which is the bootstrap for um, that. I, I like it better than uh, Kush's Droid 3 bootstrap, but it's really preference. It's not going to make a difference, um, but I do prefer this one. And you're going to go, I don't have the racer. I don't know why I clicked that. But, you know, you're going to do... The download, AOKP, or CyanogenMod 9. Oops, sorry if I'm drifting off. It's a little hard to do this. Anyway, once you got those both downloaded, you also need to download Google Apps. So don't forget that. Um, so let me see if I can find it real quick, just so you don't forget. So you go to the build. Um, there's also nightly builds. So uh, Hash of Codes, which is the developer, he does a pretty good job at releasing the build almost every night for almost every single ROM. Um, of course, there's not always updates, but the nightlies are there. Um, and then the big updates are all down here with the description. And the Google Apps, make sure you get the Google Apps too. That is very important. All right, now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to reboot um, into your recovery. All right, so here we go. It's rebooting. So you're just going to use uh, whatever recovery you have before, Clockwork Mod, um, whatever, and boot into it. And then the first thing you want to do is get on Safe Strap. Um, that's what I prefer to use, um, but I'm not going to show you to do it. You just, you know, go to Focus. There we go. Um, that's still not very focused. I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to read off what it says because you probably can't read. But install zip from SD card. You're going to go there and you're going to install um, SafeStrap. Then once you have that, you can reboot it and you'll be in this. Um, I don't know what the thing will look like before this because that's up to you, uh, what you do. Anything next thing you're going to do is go to the Safe Boot menu, which is down here. And you're going to hit Toggle Safe System. And then hit Yes. And once it does that, um, it's going to pretty much just say the state has toggled down here and then you'll be right back here. Now this is where you start to install it. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, um, internal or external, wherever you saved it. If you didn't move it, it's under downloads right here. And you're going to find the file, the um, AOKP or the CM9 file, and you're going to hit it, and then hit yes install. I'm not actually going to do that because I already have it. Alright, now once you do that, you are immediately going to go back to the install zip from SD card. Same thing you just did. Go there again, choose zip, internal. And then you find the Google Apps file. Mine's right down here. It's uh, G Apps, ICS, something like that. And once you do that, install it again. It's important to do that right after another. Otherwise, it'll get messed up and you won't have all your Google Apps and you can't get them. Um, so make sure you that isn't very important. Now the next thing is also important only if you're upgrading from Gingerbread or uh, Froyo. What you're going to do is you're going to do wipe data and factory reset. You have to do it. There's no way around it. So I would recommend you use an app like Titanium Backup uh, before you do this process because uh, you'll get stuck in a boot loop if you don't do a factory wipe. I really wish this would focus. Focus here, now focus here. No. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, um, but I hope you get the idea of what I'm saying. Anyway, next, after you do the wipe and da data reset, you're going to go to advanced. You're going to do wipe Dalvik catch or cache. Sorry, I always messed that up. And wipe the Dalvik cache. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to fully charge your battery. And when it's fully charged, you're going to boot back into this and then come here to wipe battery stats and then you're going to wipe your battery stats. And that's going to make sure that uh, the battery 
isn't saying it's dead when it still has like 20% left or something like that. Because uh, if it says it's dead, it'll shut off even if you have some battery left. You don't want that. It's just wasting battery. Alright, so now once you install those, you do them all in one shot. You're going to come back here, you're going to reboot system now. Uh, it's going to show a little Android loader here. Um, and you'll know you did it right if that happens. And then it's the moment of truth. It's going to start booting up. Um, the first boot up should take anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes, so don't get worried if it doesn't boot up right away. Um, it's not really going to be a problem. You just have to give it some time. So uh, this is not the default bootloader for either. If you did sign a chip mod 9, it's going to be a little skater dude with a spinner around him, and then it flashes up. If you did the AOKP, it's going to be a pretty little unicorn with uh, sparkles spinning around it. I have AOKP. And I did not like that very much at all. It was not very manly, so I uh, disabled it and switched to this little uh, generic, I guess you could say, default uh, boot, not bootloader. I lost my train of thought. Okay. Vibrate a lot. Alright, so anyway, that's pretty much it. And once you boot up, it's going to be like you just got your phone brand new. It's going to say welcome, put in all your information, and all that should work. One important thing, I hope you are still watching if you're going to do this, do not let um, do not let it restore your phone from your Google account. You can back it up to it, so you can leave that box checked, but don't restore it, because if you restore it, funky things start to happen. Trust me, you don't want to do that. Alright, but that's pretty much it. Um, I'm sorry, it might be a little confusing because I didn't actually do any of it, but um, I didn't want to, you know, wipe all my data when I have this already on here and I have a lot of... Uh, data on here and stuff, but hopefully you can still follow. If you have any questions at all, feel free to post a comment below. I will also below have a link to uh, Hash of Code's blog and downloads and all that kind of stuff. And um, that's pretty much it. So if you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Again, any questions, just leave a comment below. I will answer them as quick as possible. And uh, that's all. So thank you again for watching. I'll see you later.